what's up my people welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and click the top bell icon to get notified when anything new is on the channel so as usual people may have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so we are gonna start it off with beachy stout the ongoing trial right so people the witness that are them then when name then valin yeah then valin why not him reveal some things my people him also reveal say him did a sleep with beachy stout wife while him get contract for take her three points so he had an affair with her up to the time when she passed or when them k-i-l-l her seen so him reveal say beachy stout did want him to dash with the policeman too so the wife did figure saint mary go link her mother and beachy stout call him that a minor at beachy stout call and tell him to travel with him wife ga saint mary seeing him say him jumping at the car she pick him up and thing and she reach must buff be and turn back the car and reach at the police station she left him in the car and come out go talk to a slim brown cool ear police officer seeing later on beachy stout call him and ask him if him see the person that are the policeman and him say yes him see him so him tell him say yo i him more want you that way you see me i say him say beachy stout even drive him got a scheme where the police live and drive up at the yard and show him the yard say yo what yes so him live you know what i mean so beach is thought to and dash with the wife and the police too and uh, earlier on me share with you know couple maybe a week ago or so me share when him go by the acid and i said boy him one this figure must see the woman face or the police face but he must see the two of them him one him one dash way seeing and him one dash the acid must be on the woman or the policeman me remember which one of them him saying did one dash the acid pan seeing and him plan for dash with the police but them did report it at the station the police did find out say boy he was a target so him no bother go through with that plan there so me i go share you know the relationship with the youth say him did have with beachy stout wife because all him must be shocked when him hear this it look like said this girl lady that get everybody the coaching me people you know what i mean she did loose bridging yeah man she did loose man ja, ja. boy i mean i tell you yo woman if you don't love a man virgin left him me know say the money keep no for no but at the money leads she to her debt boy i mean i tell you and to all of the man them out there, if you see a boy, you have a woman where you love and she bad, make she go and let her go. Make she go and go bad on her own and learn her mistake. And you go about your business when she find her mistake. You see me, I say, but nobody got dash with nobody pick me because they might give them own something. I feel her own, you know. You see me, I say, she yeah, no. know. Boy, I tell you, no. convicted contract, K I L L E R admits to intimate relationship with wife of beachy stout the home circuit court this morning was stunned after the convicted contract k-i-l-l-e-r revealed that at the time when he lured tony mcdonald to her death they were having an affair the married witness then valin minot otherwise called bubbler previously testified that defendant everton beachy stout mcdonald had contracted him in 2020 to k-i-l-l his wife tony for a fee of three million dollars but that he subcontracted the job to Oscar barnes mcdonald and barnes are currently on trial for the alleged m-u-r-d-e-r of the 32 year old businesswoman however why not this morning disclosed the judge up in revelation about the intimate nature of his relationship with the deceased woman after the prosecutor questioned him about their relationship she used to give him trouble with me ma'am he replied 
When asked to explain, he said, I was part of her life. I used to have SEX with her. Minot, who is currently serving 19 years and 10 months in prison for his role in the MURDER, said the relationship started on June 2, 2022, sorry, 2020, and was still going on up to the time of her DEATH. The witness testified yesterday that he had lured Tonya to her DEATH under the guise that she was going to collect a machine which she wanted to use to avenge her father's DEATH and watch as Barnes STAB her repeatedly. The woman's partially burned body was found with her throat CUT in her car which had been set ablaze along a desert, deserted road in Sherwood Forest in Portland on July 20, 2020. So, him detail what happened that night. Seeing him say, him tell her, say, him go get the machine for her so she had drive him to the location. When him reach at the location, him tell her if he stop the car, turn it around, turn off the light. So him say when she stop the car, turn around and turn off the light and thing, the light inside did on. The light inside of the car did on. So him walk about four feet or so, go up in a one lane. And when him turn back, him see the youth when him ask about you know, because him get the contract for do the damage, you know. But him subcontract it out to Oscar Barnes. Because him say him could do it. Him never do nothing like that before. See? So him say when him turn back, him see Oscar Barnes come out of the car. Then him push in back him foot in of the car. And hold her by the neck and start jam her up. You see me I say? Same time she start ball out for her mother. Her mother want her. She want her mother one bag of something. So... She did a try to fight back till she end up in at the back seat. But him overpower and juke her up. Seeing him say when him come back, you know, I reach at the car car, ask a bands, lock the door with she in at the car, you know. Seeing so him say when him come back, you know, and open the car door, she just drop out of the car. So, same time, him a walk with him say ask a bands, grab a machine, you know what I mean, and point it. Half time, you see me ask him where I go, and him say my go man, you know what I mean? Him see when Oscar Barnes take out one look back low time and with some substance and throw in a car, and then him light the car. Him say, after everything happened, him see one police vehicle down the road a pass, and him try to stop the vehicle, but the vehicle drive past him. Me not believe that part they still. Seeing because as the act happened, you go call police. Same, I go tell the police what happened. You know, what I mean, because I never feel good. Him say, I'm wake up in the morning, him still never feel good over what happened. Him say, I did a go on police station, then him change his mind. You see, me, I say, him even confess to one of him friend what happened. You see it. So, as soon as there's more. I go share it with you guys. So if a woman a give you trouble bridging, leave the woman alone star. Find an next female. You know what I mean? No go through all of this and dash away your life. You see me I say there's no secret that two person know. Remember me tell you that. There's no secret if two people know that. You see me? So, we are going to move on, people. So, the quadruple dash of your guan in a Trelawney. A bunch of things are revealed about what may cause the quadruple dash way. See, it's out there that the youth, the young youth, will get dash way. Him did involve in our knockings and clappings seen and a reprisal for that the knockings and clappings there why him get caught up and the rest of the person them get caught up seen 
they also I say a some lottery scamming thing cause the knockings and clappings reprisal and lottery scamming may have played a role in Trilani quadruple M-U-R-D-E-R that the police them say assistant commissioner of police in charge of area one division Clifford Chambers today disclosed that reprisal and lottery scamming may have played a role in Monday night's quadruple M-U-R-D-E-R in Danville, Trelawney. Chambers told reporters at the scene that one of the deceased 27-year-old Akeem Robinson, otherwise called Eddie R. Petro, of a King Lass address in Trelawney has been linked to a 2017 s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g that left four people injured and a mother 25 year old carrie ann williams and her eight year old son javier kerr lemon d-e-a-d robinson was named as a person of interest in the november 22 2017 s-h-o-o-t-i-n-g the suspect in that case who is now deceased here robinson so him the person you know what i mean who was the suspect in that case was arrested in relation to that incident but investigators had difficulties preferring charges against him because of an identification issue chambers explained robinson was shot and kill at about 10 pm on monday night along with his 21 year old girlfriend amelia livingston his 51-year-old cousin Cordell Graham and Graham's 43-year-old common-law spouse Nicole White. Chambers also revealed that Robinson was alleged to have been involved in lottery scamming and that he had reportedly had a dispute with persons from King Lost prior to his DEATH. The investigation is at an extreme infancy stage, but the investigators are combing the scene. They have been able to lift pertinent evidence so far and will be relying on scientific evidence to advance the investigation to some extent, said Chambers. He said the police are following several leads to identify the attackers. So guys, leave your comment in the comment section and like up the video, please and thanks my people. Click the like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to the channel and click the tap bell icon so you can get notified whenever anything new is on the channel so taxi operator kill mother hospitalized following manchester gun attack a taxi operator was shot and him drop out his mother wounded and four of his relatives including three children left traumatized after men reportedly opened fire on the family in greenville manchester on tuesday night police named the deceased as sutherland 36 of big head street in greenville preliminary reports are that about 7 pm sutherland was driving his taxi with his relatives as passengers to their home when two gun men alighted from bushes and opened fire at the vehicle our news team was told that the gun men attacked the family mere meters from their house in scottstown area in greenville two men jumped out of the bush and shot out the tires first so he couldn't drive off then them opened fire on him in the driver's seat him come out the car and all when him drop a ground them still a shot him a source said sutherland's mother was reportedly shot in the chest and foot the other passengers escaped injuries the injured people were rushed to hospital where Sutherland was pronounced DEAD and his mother admitted in serious but stable condition. The latest incident is the fourth MURDER recorded in Manchester since the start of the year. So them say nobody no get injured then them say them rushed the injured person. Well maybe them no get no can injured that me feel you know what I mean them no get no can injured but them get other injuries like when them are run and maybe jump on them with it you see it so leave your comments in the comment section and like up this video people businessman and m-u-r-d-e-r rap after shooting baby mother's visitor 
The police have charged a businessman following the late night S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G dropout of a man who visited his baby mother after they had retired to bed. The businessman, 45-year-old Robert, is from Olive Park, Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, and the incident occurred in Burnt Ground District, also in the parish. The police on Wednesday said that following a comprehensive investigation, the businessman was charged with MURDER in the Canning dropout of 35 year old Orlando Blake. The incident occurred on October 1st. Reports are that about September 30, about 10 20 p.m., Robert visited a woman with whom he shares a child and they retired to bed. Sometime after, Blake reportedly went to the house to visit the woman. Blake entered the house and was SHOT by him who was armed with his license machine. The police were summoned and he was taken to hospital where he was pronounced. See? So when him said one, the man go link the woman when have a youth with. See? A member of the people that see a man have a wife a police sergeant wife i think she retired retired police sergeant wife but him have a youth with the woman so it look like say him still you know he not look like him still are there with she and have him wife while this man here maybe feel like say the woman no have a next man and a deal with her so i'm just going at the house kind of expect no other person for in at the house see me i say and this man can up the man. Maybe an argument go on or whatever. The last time I checked the police, them did want the woman. I don't know if she turned in herself to the police them as yet. You see me I say? Because she wanted the person to be blamed. Because she can't have two men. I don't know if he schedule the thing. You see me I say? This man come buck up in the bona man and the bona man end up take him three points. So it look like say, the police them are going to charge she. So as I said, I don't know if she bring in herself to the police yet or she's still at large. So I'm going to update on that once there's an update. So we're going to move on, people. So the story I'm going to share with you guys, I have a next little story about that story. You see, it's not really a story. You know what I mean? A little thing we go on. So let me jump right in it, people. See? Westmoreland wanted man charged with M-U-R-D-E-R. The Westmoreland police have charged a man who was wanted for a fatal canning. 26-year-old Nico Finley, otherwise called Matic, of Dean Lane in Montego Bay, St. James, and Hartford District, Petersfield, Westmoreland, was charged with MURDER on Monday after surrendering to the police. His court date is being arranged. The canning happened in Cornwall District on Thursday, August 10. He is charged with the DEATH of 21-year-old Ronaldo Moore, otherwise called Chin, a furniture maker of Cornwall District. Reports from the Savlamar police are that about 8 p.m., Moore was standing among a group of people along the roadway when Finley approached him. Finley reportedly pulled a firearm from his pants and opened fire at Moore, who ran, at Moore, who ran in a bit to escape. He was chased on SHOT multiple times after which Finley escaped on foot in the area, according to the police. Moore was assisted to hospital where he was pronounced. Following an investigation and being listed as wanted, Finley turned himself into the police in the company of his attorney on Monday, October 9. Charges were subsequently laid against him. So people, who don't know the police, them have a thing with them call wanted Wednesday. When them post up on them Instagram page, them Constabulary Force Instagram page. See, people, it last, last week, wanted Wednesday, me see them put up this youth here when he am Nico. Me I see if me can find it. If me can find it, me share it with you. Know, see, them put it up. I think it up on them Instagram. So, you can check the Jamaica Constabulary Force Instagram and look. You know what I mean? Una go see Nico Finley. So people, when me I scroll on my Instagram, see and book up on it. You know a witch song in the background, people. Nico, 
You know, Amari song where she sing about Nico, you mash up my life. I that the song that the people them put in you know? Boy, I mean, I lie. Them have some hilarious wanted Wednesday posts. Them use some songs and put it in at the background of the pictures them pan wanted Wednesday. Me see a youth when he must say chicken back that them call him. And them put up, you know, Vibes Cartel song when him sing, when him say, what you know about chicken back, chicken foot, and that them put at the background. See, me say when me hear the Amari Nico, me bust out a laugh, people. Me, me, me shock. You see me I say, crime don't pay people. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So people, we're going to move on. There has been, allegedly, there has been a shooting in Sam Sharp Square last night. See? And the picture you want to see on the screen right now is of a female that was allegedly caught up in the corner. You see me I say? So as soon as there's an update, I'm going to share it with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the top bell icon. And like up this video for me. Please and thanks.